Hello everyone. Um, I figured I was overdue for a video. Uh, I'm trying to get more comfortable being in front of it. So I wanted to describe this next meal to you because it was a describable worthy meal um, that, that you should really get a chance to go and try. Um, and I was, I'm not being reimbursed or anything by this place. This is just me talking from the heart. Uh, nobody's paying me. Um, just like nobody's paying me. Thanks to my brother for this hat from Duncan Aviation. And huge thank you to Duncan Aviation for taking care of my brother in amazing ways through thick and thin. So to all my friends and uh, family and visitors who own a private jet, please, Duncan Aviation. So my friend Kat, a.k.a. Bama, known me for decades, and she managed somehow to put all the three things that I really enjoy in this world in one day. History, adult cocktails, and food. And we had done it all. And I thought that, you know, dinner was just going to be, you know, lunch was amazing at Columbia. So we went to St. Augustine's Fish Camp. Uh, it's right on the water. It's a lovely place. And you need to make reservations. Reservations, reservations. We get in there and we're quickly seated. Uh, the bar, not bartender, the waitress was very friendly, explained the meals, and went through the specials. And they were amazing. And uh, I need to look at my notes. Yeah, my submarine brothers and sisters might recognize this. Thanks to Rob Knapp for that one. Um, so for the appetizer, we had, and I'll post all the pictures to these meals as well. Uh, we had, where'd they go? Broiled scallops with bacon, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, and cream. And they come in the shell. I believe they're cooked in the shell. And you get this little uh, fork and you just scoop it in. And it was just so delicious. I mean, the scallops and the bacon and the splash of butter. Uh, I, they take a while to cook, which they warned us about. Uh, and it was, I think it was like six, four. I could have been there all night just eating those alone because they were good. But uh, for the main Akucha main meal, uh, we both picked different starters. I mean, correction, specials. Um, because they both sounded really, really good. And I went with the pan fried trout over a bed of arugula potatoes with a deviled egg sauce and little pancetta bites. I mean, first off, the, the best person to make deviled eggs is always mom. But if I had to put deviled eggs over this amazing light river trout, it was, whew. and I was pretty happy. But then, but then Kat was like, oh, try my dish. And it was a pan seared grouper over a parsley turnip puree, parsnip puree, sorry, with vegetables of broccoli. And it had a raspberry compote butter cream sauce. I swear, when she put that, and I got to try it. And I could sense the inner Paula Deen butter flavor and that fish melt. I took a minute, I think Jesus, and I went back for more. And you know, it was it was good. The sides, uh, we had some like lima beans and bacon. Yeah, the grits were good. I mean, if you haven't had grits, these little grits were delicious. But St. Augustine's a great little restaurant. So if you're in St. Augustine, Florida, you got to try them out. Like them on Facebook. Do whatever. Um, oh, for dessert, we had this chocolate uh, bread pudding with vanilla ice cream. Good. I don't usually do dessert, but she twisted my arm, and it was good. You would enjoy it. So St. Augustine's, and you can find them on Facebook. You can even see the special, and that's what's great. Is like So I'm looking at their special tonight on Facebook, and... 22 hours ago, so last night, so tonight's still probably post. But anyway, it's pan seared grouper over feta crushed potatoes, garlic, green beans, and sauce campanata. I mean, 
And then, of course, the views. If you go at sunset because it's right in the water, amazing views. You'll see that photo as well. So please, do yourself a favor. If you're ever in St. Augustine, put on some stretchy pants and head on over to St. Augustine's Fish Camp. You're not going to be disappointed.